and welcome. I'm Shawnee G, Senior Developer here at Police Roleplay Community, and today I'll be taking you through the CAD. CAD stands for Computer Aided Dispatch, and for intense RP servers, it'll be a really helpful tool. So, attached in the description and in our Discord, we will have these two PDFs which show you how to set up the CAD as a server owner and as a community member. So first, we'll go ahead and do as a server owner. So go ahead and join your private server, open server settings, hit edit of course, scroll down and you will see a section that says Snore and CAD. The part we're going to be focusing on today is API key and community ID. To get these two, you're going to want to open your CAD. And assuming you of course have already gone to SonoraCAD.com, created an account and created your community, you're going to want to click your community, press admin, Cus advanced and an in-game integration find that way click resources and i'll zoom in so you can see better you'll see community id and api key you're going to want to copy those hit edit and then paste those into the settings versus enter here and then hit save and make sure that's all good once that's all good that's pretty much all you have to do as a server owner now, as a community member, you're going to want to click your client settings up in the top right corner here. Scroll down to the bottom where it says Sonor and CAD. You can click more info to view more information about it, but I will do my best to explain everything in this video. But for right now, click view your API ID. Then this box will pop up where you can then copy it and you will use that in one second. Now, going back to the main CAD interface, go ahead and click your community. As a civilian, or pretty much any person within your CAD, you're going to want to hit this drop down menu, click settings, and where it says API ID, you're going to want to press new, and then paste the copied ID from here, and then click OK. I already have it saved, so I'm not going to click OK here. Once you have done that, you're pretty much great, to, good to go on the CAD. So today we're going to go ahead and look at the police perspective. So click police and you will see the basic CAD interface where up here you can click and you can set your unit number, name, rank, status, agency, department, and AOP is either area of patrol or area of play. Pretty much the same thing. So go ahead and X that out once you save and set all of those and you can click 10-8. All these buttons pretty much have audible feedback so you can hear it and I'm sure you can hear it in this video as well. So with this, if I were to walk outside and hop in my car, the location will update. So let's go do that right now. So now that we're in our Corvette right here, we're going to go ahead and drive around and you will see the CAD start to update our location. Right now we're in Orchard Boulevard. We'll turn, oops, we'll turn left onto Industrial Road and you'll see updating. It updates roughly every five seconds, and if you're not exactly on the street, it'll do its best to figure out what street you are closest to. If you take a look, you'll also notice numbers before the street address and a postal code. If you were to click map, show toggles, and by the time the update drops, you'll see postal code and building numbers. It will show an overlay similar to how if you hit street names, it'll show an overlay and it'll show where all the postal codes are, where all the building numbers are, and that way you can help figure out where a unit is. So if a unit says, hey, I'm at postal 528, for example, you can go ahead and find your way to postal 528. So if you see how it says I'm at postal 207, we'll go ahead and drive away for a second. And now it says 216, but say we're somewhere else and we wanna say, hey, we need to get to postal 207. You can type slash postal 207 and it'll say waypoint marker set. You can see it in the game and you can see it on your map where postal 207 is. A full list of commands will be available by typing slash commands, by typing out slash commands or slash CMDS by the time the update is dropped. So you can go ahead and view all the commands. Most likely we'll also include them in the description just for your convenience. So moving on. That's pretty much the basics of getting the CAD set up and how to view, how to get your location update and everything like that. Now, if we were to hit the back arrow, go into dispatch, this is dispatch's view. 
here you can see all online units, all 911 calls, and pretty much the call details and all active calls coming in. As for the 911 calls, if you were to pull up your cell phone, the emergency services, say I'm calling the police and say someone broke into my house. And say if I were to just send the call like that. Incoming 911. I'm not sure if you heard that, but the cat said incoming 911. And here you can see my call has popped up right here. So we can go ahead and click it. Open call and editor and we'll see the details I just put. So I requested the police and I said someone broke into my house. And it'll say I'm near the civilian spawn. And... You know, it's pretty convenient. Here it'll have the address where it says 2082 Freedom Avenue and Grand Avenue since I'm at the intersection right here. And it'll give a postal which is 203, which is the closest postal I am at right now, as you can see up here. Now as a dispatch, you're going to want to set this call status as active, give it a priority, which your own community can define, whether either one is the highest or three is the highest, and then press create call. Once a call is created, it will go down here into the active calls and pretty much right here is where the call was. So I can go ahead and hit edit call and I can pull the call back up and see what went on. So since I'm editing the call, there are two ways to add a unit to the call. So quickly click and drag their icon right here, drag it to the call and hit update call. New dispatch to 082 Freedom Avenue and Grand Avenue, postal 203. And you'll go ahead and hear the CAD read out the call, the address, and that you just you were just added to it. Another way to add to the call is by, say if I didn't want to update the call like that every single time, I'll just remove myself. And then I can also click and drag to the calls down here. New dispatch to 082 Freedom Avenue and Grand Avenue, postal 203. Pretty much the same exact effect, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. So that's how you bring a 911 call from here over to this section. And then from here, say if I go back and I'm a regular unit again, and I click New police. dispatch, undefined 2082 Freedom Avenue and Grand Avenue, postal 203 postal. I'll go ahead and mute that. So say if I'm a regular unit again, I'm viewing this guy. This is how the call pops up. I can add a note like suspect is being is angry, for example. And I can add a note and all of the units who happen to be on this call will see the note and they could go ahead and know, I guess, the current status of the call. So there's also a feature called self-dispatch where if the community owner decides to enable it, I can go ahead and clear myself from this call and say, yeah, I'm done with this call. And then say if I want to attach myself to another call as a police officer, you go ahead and click the bottom left arrow, hit dispatch active calls and then you can view all active calls as is and you could go ahead and click attach the call preview call and so forth so i just attached myself back to that call and i pretty much did dispatch's job without there needing to be a dispatch first so you know say if you have a session going on and there isn't a dispatch online you can always still handle yourself and do everything that a dispatch can do which is pretty nice so we'll go ahead and disable that to attach on the call once more and that's pretty much how calls work. Now, in terms of the database, say if I pulled over someone and I want to look their plate up. I hit look up, plate search, and then put in their license plate. I already have a license plate in the CAD, and it's registered to my character, which I called Paul Blart. So you're going to want to hit records, vehicle registration, and then click right here. And here I can see, oh, this is Paul Blart. This is the birthday I set, this is the age I set, and all these details I filled out myself as a civilian, and then I can see the registration is fine, so nothing there. And say I wanted to look up his name, for example, I would hit look up, name search, and then type out first and last name, and then it would pop up here. Now the great thing about this is you can also do this from the game. So if I were to type slash SN for search name, I can type in Paul Blart, and it will pop up in my CAD just like this, which is the same exact way of me typing it in the CAD myself. And then I can go ahead and see, oh, there's a civilian named Paul Blart. You could view the details about him, which is this person, aka me. I saw all the details myself. And you could also see, do they have any arrest records? Do they have any 
registration you have a bolo and you can go ahead and view all of that so that's pretty nice someone decided i was armed violent and mentally ill which are flags you can enable in your arrest report now say i am arresting someone you're going to go ahead and hit records new record arrest you can also hit search and here you can obviously add the person by searching Paul Blart, hit search, and then it'll fill all the details about them. You can add a charge, such as say armed robbery, and then go ahead and hit add record and it'll save to them. The reason, I'm, of course, I'm not hitting it is for some reason Google Chrome loves to autofill everything. So if I were to click something, it would show my address and that's not what we want. So moving on, as a civilian, we'll go ahead and hit back and click civilian. Say if I wanted to create a new character, because currently this is my character, but that's cool. We want a new character, you hit new, fill out all this information, upload a photo if you wish, or you could also paste an image link, so you know how you can copy a link from a Discord image. Go ahead and paste that here, and it'll show your avatar. Press add character, and voila, you registered your character. Now for the DMV, such as, you know, registering vehicles, you could go ahead and hit DMV vehicle registration and it'll automatically fill out your information and then you could decide what vehicle you want to register so say if i want to hit sedan put another license plate and i could fill out make model color year hit add record or make sure you set a status whether it's valid expired suspended stolen pending and then you can set the expiration date hit add record and it will save to your character you can also click records to see what records you have go ahead and hit refresh and it'll show you your own records such as vehicle registration any bolos that are out for you someone set a bolo out for me already and any arrest records that exist on you so that's pretty much the civilian side of interacting with the cad you can of course have multiple characters multiple vehicles registered to you and it pretty much ties in the immersive roleplay experience now that's a quick overview of the CAD, I showcase the police side, the dispatch side, the server owner side, and civilian side. There of course is a lot more to this CAD, there are a lot more features, and we will provide links in the description to guides that's an RN, which I might be pronouncing my bad, I might be mispronouncing I should say. We'll leave links to guides that Sonoran has provided to help you get introduced to the CAD, but the best way honestly to get used to it is just keep using it pretty much. Look around, click the buttons, figure out what you want to do, and just have fun with it as you know, this is meant for your private servers and this will help you have a more immersive experience. Because the MDT is nice and all, but if you click login, it's very basic. It doesn't have nearly as much as much functionality as this does. If you go ahead and look in the description, we will have our discount code where when you're signing up for your community, and unfortunately, you know, this is the reality where this CAD is paid access, but trust me, it is 100% worth it. The basic tier to work with our game is a $10 standard tier, and that basically allows it to connect with our game and gives you a lot more functionality on the CAD itself than the free version. So if you use our discount code, which will be in the description and maybe on the screen, you will get a certain you will get a discount on your first month, and all the limits as far as user accounts will be doubled. So make sure you use our discount code so you can get double the amount of users in your CAD than you know other communities out there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope everything was clear. Be sure, of course, check the description for all available resources we have, and hope to hope you enjoy this update. See you.